Hey fam, this is B and thank you for joining me in today's video. I'm watching episode 8 of Solo Leveling. Last episode was so stressful. Like really nerve-wracking. And for a second I thought he's going to last an arm and leg like you know that or initial episode in front of that guard. I'm like, "Oh god, not again." <laughs> and he's going to end up in a coma, but it turned out okay by the end of it. and he took a smart decision of not going further because he still needs to level up so i am rooting for jinwu out here but we still need to figure out what's happening like apart from leveling up what exactly is the whole thing about right this whole game the game, the god and the powers how does it all work All right, let's watch episode 8 and see if something is revealed in this episode or we're still waiting towards the end of the season to actually find out what's happening. <laughs> okay, let's start. But what are the three items that you need to make it? You need to make it. But what are the three items that you need to make it? You need to make it. You need to make it. You need to make it. So he will eventually end up joining um you know that team. See, I knew, I knew. Oh, okay. To level up so that he can go inside that building and grab all the ingredients for elixir of life to save his mom. He doesn't want other people to know. So you can clear the dungeon. You can use the numbers. You can use the numbers. You can use the numbers. You can use the numbers.俺たち二人が無事なら19回のレイドを怪我人ゼロで終えることができる。親父さんに実力を認めてもらう。絶好の材料じゃないか。そうしましょう、兄貴。オッケー、そう、when <笑> A horse or something from a girl, and she saved her. Uh, something like that. I remember. So did I. What are you doing? Oh wow. I felt like you were over watching her. Oh wow. I felt like you were over watching her. Oh wow. I felt like you were over watching her. Oh wow. I felt like you were over watching her. Oh wow. I felt like you were over watching her. Oh wow. I felt like you were over watching her. Oh wow. I felt like you were over watching her. Oh wow. I felt like you were over watching her. They approached her. Okay. Gate が発生するようになって十数年。世界は目まぐるしく変化している。特に人々の生活の基盤となるインフラは、ダンジョンの資源なしには立ち行かなくなった。Sorry, I'm just trying to read. Major electric power company files for price increase. 基盤となるインフラは、ダンジョンの資源なしには立ち行かなくなった。そしてそのハンターたちの管理をしているのが。公的機関としてのハンター協会という組織だしかし協会はあくまでも公的機関に過ぎない実際にこの社会を回すために十分なダンジョン資源の大半を持ち帰っているのはギルドというハンター業を基軸とした企業体だ OK so I'm trying to understand there is an association which um which will which has this um um you know kind of a machine which measures If you are a hunter or not, and what rank of a hunter you are of, and that manages all the uh, gates and all the breakouts, but then there are girls which manages all the hunters, and they assign all the um, um, they assign the uh, the different kind of dungeon to each group. So when hunters go in, they grab the resources, and then kills, uh, take over those, uh, stones or other stuff that they're getting from the dungeon. So the association, what is association doing it? If is they are just mad, there are different kills. Like kills are like private companies, I understand. And association is under the state. So association is just managing. It's like a supervisory body. Whereas guilds are different private companies which are managing the hunters. I believe I am on the right track. Let's see. Naka demo hunters guild, Biakko guild, Shinigami guild, Miyojo guild, 
そう、ディスクが大きい。this is frustrating. Like, there are no self rules, and he doesn't know how. What is happening? Mada, Mada, Kachiwa, Yuzransa, Mata, Soreda, Monan Oh, he lost an arm. Oh, he's that guy. Okay, okay. Shihanga, Hontoni in Taina Sarana, you know, in Tai? Dana, Udewa, Ushinatanga, Hirotai Nochita. Sahodo Nanga Kumona, Jin Sedanga. どうせなら世の中に貢献するために使いたい。だって危険すぎるわ。この前のレイドも大勢なくなって、あなたも危ないところでギリギリ逃げてきたんでしょ。おお。だ it's just sometimes your family responsibility makes you take all this Difficult decisions in life, right? Oh my God. Amount of rings this guy is wearing, every finger has a ring. Oh, he doesn't have a ring. ユジン建設がギルド立ち上げに動いているようです。知ってるよ。裏で動き回っているみたいだな。周りくどい真似をせ。もう一度聞く。本題は何だ?ちゃんとやってけてんの?ジュヒ、how are you girl? Are you okay? I think that was an excessive reaction. Maybe, but her mom must be nagging her for a while. Because, because I guess she feels inferior to Jinbu now, knowing that how strong he has gone like ever since that whole. So she's gonna be part of the same thing as Jinbu. I think she's gonna meet Jinbu on this raid. Yeah, Hunter. So this guy Bake, is he in the same association or not? Like same guild or not? Or is he from a different guild? And I think this girl belongs to this guild. I'm not sure. How do you think about it? The third raid. Uh, that was like 10 years ago or something, right? So he's like a different island too? Was he the... Okay, I don't remember a lot from that Jeju Island raid. But there was this guy with magic. Is this... Is he that guy? And I remember him now. Okay, I remember him. He was the guy with that I was saying he has like big muscles and something. But there was a guy with magic. There was a guy. Um, uh, there were three, three, three people. Um, a three or four. Okay. Anyways, I think I have to watch that episode again to remember. What did he left over there? Did he leave a uh, member? You know what? I'm so curious. Don't if you don't mind me, I'm gonna just watch that post episode a bit just to remember what exactly happened. 
Healing magic, right? Right there, there was a guy with magic. Yongo. Okay, so this guy, Yun Hu, is the guy we just saw, right? So this is the guy as rank um, Hunter, President Bake, or whatever. This is Byungo. That was the magic guy. So I, I'm just trying to think, is this the same guy that we just saw? Kind of confused. No. The red hair guy is this guy. Yeah. So that mission actually failed. So basically those two other guys who were uh, fighting with him, something happened to them. Either they died on that island and he's the only one who survived and obviously Choi. So they want to go back and they want to reclaim the Jeju island. Sorry, what was it? あいつらを殺してください。鍛えたせいか？かもな。It's <laughs> more than training. It's something else, a supernatural power. But the story is getting interesting. Like there are many angles that's opening up now. So the first quest in Jeju Island, that thing, like the whole raid, was a failure. 数十年間やってきた剣はダンジョンで何の役にも立たないよ。so he lost an arm but he still wants to do a raid he wants to participate into that whole mission aren't you going to tell him that he's so different like he is taller and he's muscular i know ありがとうございます。but I think they all will again be part of the same uh, raid. Jui, him, and this guy, and that other guy, you know, the guy with the kids, four of them will go on the same raid again. So all of them are here. I think they will make a... make a... pretty good team. Yeah, all of them are here, and I think now Eugene will will come over, so he will be the sixth person. But she even visited him in the hospital, but then she didn't actually see him. Oh, they're making criminals be part of this raid. But it doesn't it like the other hunters' life are at stake. Then it it puts the whole raid at stake, isn't it? Like if these criminals decide to kill other hunters inside uh, the raid or try to steal mana crystals or other stuff instead of helping them out, what's gonna happen? So I I don't know. I don't like the idea of having convicts on a raid. Oh wow. Oh, you don't know how strong he is now, Jui. You don't have to worry about him. Jui is just trying to prove, I don't know if to Jinbu, but to herself, that she can face it. Like, she, she's kind of guilty, feels guilty of the last raid. This guy is giving me like Kakashi vibes. Yeah, so Convicts are like, oh, we get freedom in the dungeon, so they're happy. 
I, I thought that they're gonna add this right here and um, um, this whole mission will be in the next episode I kind of had that inclination but I, there are so many different kind there are so many different um, story angles now entangled that's what I was trying to think in the middle but everything was happening so fast so I couldn't like wrap my head around it but I was thinking that whole raid that happened 10 years ago in Jeju Island and now Jeju Island is like beyond reach. Choi uh, now his like his desire is to regain somehow the control of Jeju Island and kill all those bees and do another raid out there and probably in in future Jin Wu would be part of that once he levels up and become as strong as S rank hunter, hunters or even more. But whereas Jin Wu's whole idea right now is to get that elixir of life, the, like, that is his immediate goal to get that elixir of life to help out his mom and to get that to have to make that elixir of life, he needs those three. He needs these three ingredients which is in this building and he needs to level up. So that's why he's doing all the raids. Okay, and then there is obviously this other construction company. They're trying to set up a guild and that boy wants Jinwoo on his side to do the raids with him to prove to his father. So there are like different different kind of story plots at the moment happening, like different development. And I don't remember all names. As you know, I have really <laughs> trouble remembering names. So I, will, I'm, I know in my head who am I talking about, but then this is all is happening and there's, there's a lot of complications going on but i feel i think i'm okay and i'm going to watch the um uh, episode 9 to see what this quest is all about the new one that they're all going in it's this reunion of the uh, group and um with few new members few new faces but mostly the old people and it'll be interesting to see uh how Jinbu actually um, performs in this raid and if that surprises the rest of the lot and it'll be interesting the thing the only thing that I'm kind of worried about is this guy this uh, rank B guy from the association because if he sees Jinbu doing all this um, you know uh, fighting in that manner he will immediately know that how strong he is and then it'll be difficult for Jinbu to hide uh, his strength and his levels like his powers so let's see what happens so i'm really excited for the next episode all right i will wrap it out here if you like this video do drop a like or a comment on this video and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video until then bye